Hello. Today I will be talking about movie review number 1111. This is You Gotta Believe. You Gotta Believe is a 2024 movie directed by Ty Roberts. T.Y. Roberts. This is from World Girl USA Entertainment, Santa Rita Film Company, Media Finance Capital, Crowball Films, and Hangar 18 Media. I saw this movie on September 8, 2024 at Regal Cinema 16 in Deerfield Town Center in Mason, Ohio. And this is based on an inspiring true story about one baseball team's transformational journey from district underdog to taking this place in the Little League record books. Now, this is a Little League team, but it's baseball. After dedicating the season to a teammate's airing father, a group of underestimated youth baseball players from Fort Worth, Texas, takes the Cinderella one all the way to the 2002 Little League World Series, culminating in a record-breaking showdown that became an ESPN classic. So in the movie, we see a Little League team from Fort Worth, Texas, and one of the teammates, Farver, is becoming ill. And because of this, this inspired that particular teammate, along with the other teammates, to, ded to dedicate their upcoming season to the, to the Farver. And even though this team hasn't exactly been very good, they decided to try to pull it to the devil and try to become good with the help of their coaches and family members. Their, their inspiration and belief that, the, that this father is going to become better will take them all the way to the 2002 Little Week World Series. And yeah, this was based on a true story. I really enjoyed this. And I really like movies that featured, that featured sports teams becoming like an underdog and eventually making their way to a major championship. In this case, it's the Little Week World Series. So this movie has Ruth Wilson as Bobby Radiff. Radiff. He is the guy that is getting sick. And his son as is actually on the team. Ray Keneal portrays Coach John Kelly, of the, Coach John Kelly, who is also a warrior. So he's part-time coach, part-time warrior, and he's trying to coach this Little League World Series after Bobby Rapwith is taking some time to deal with his condition. Sailor Gadden portrays Patty Rapwith, who is Bobby's wife. And then we also see uh, Ella Tineen Kelsey as Walter Kelly, Molly Parker as Kathy Kelly, Patrick Renner as Cliff Young, and there are many other actors and actresses in this movie. I really like how the movie is called You Gotta Believe because this team from Fort Worth, Texas did on a Saturday the best, and after a unsuccessful season, they're not sure what to do next. Well, then things take a turn when the father of one of the one of the prayers becomes ill. And the pray in this particular prayer, the son, he is having a hard time trying to cope with this condition that his father has. And when the other teammates find out about this, they decide to dedicate their upcoming season to this prayer's father. Because they appreciate everything that this father has done to them, along with Coach John Kelly, and they want to have something to believe in again. And they'll believe that if they can do good and good in the season, then maybe that might help the father get better with his condition. So it's not just winning winning sports games and going to the World Series. It's also about trying to save someone's wife. Trying to make that person live again. Live life to the forest. And despite whatever obstacles that come away, that come to pray, unfortunately, with this condition, the teammates or, or the prayers are hoping that if they stand 
with each other and pray as a team, then maybe this might help motivate the Farvel to get better. But yeah, this was a very good movie. And like I said, this is based on a true story of this Little Reed team that eventually made it to the Little Reed World Series in 2002. Now, I won't say what happens, but let me put it this way. Regardless of the outcome, the fact that they went to the Little Reed World Series definitely meant a lot to them. And hopefully this might help the father get better. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So that's my movie movie review of you, Gala Believe. Please say truth, please say truth this movie review. Alright, goodbye.